All right, let's get into it. Today, we're tackling a huge debate in prostate cancer care. We're talking about a scan called PSMA PET. It's so powerful, it finds cancer cells anywhere. You'd think everyone would get it, right? But experts just can't agree on who should. Okay, so there's one area where pretty much everyone is on the same page. If you've got high-risk cancer, this scan's a no-brainer for staging. It's highly recommended. But what about intermediate risk? Well, that's where things get really complicated. And this isn't a small disagreement. We're talking major medical bodies that just can't agree. Just look at this breakdown. The recommendations are, well, they're all over the map. Seriously. So why? Why are they so divided? It really boils down to one simple question. First, let's hear from Team Scan. What's the case for using this powerful tool? They argue it finds hidden spots, which could help some guys avoid major surgery. And the numbers back it up. In about 15% of these cases, the scan finds spread. Okay, but what's the other side of the coin? Why would you not want to scan? Well, critics say the risk of spread is already so low, the scan doesn't often change things. Plus, you've got this weird statistical thing called the Will Rogers phenomenon. It can be tricky. It's like this. Move the top student to a smarter class. Suddenly, both class averages improve. So here's the bottom line. The debate is happening because the evidence just isn't there yet. That's why right now, the guidelines are mostly based on expert opinions, not hard data. But, and this is important, things are changing, and they're changing fast. Because as new research comes out, you can bet that today's recommendations will evolve. It all leads to a bigger question. With powerful new tech, how do we know when enough is enough?